Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast and I'm Mephone and this is the NBA Finals where we end here for the game of the postseason. It's next after this. I think the third game is about to start for the NBA Finals of 2K22. This time, the Warriors have already won two games. So far, we're about to head things over to Miami to start for another game. That's right. I always have to tell you this one here, that Stephen Curry and the other teams of the, of the Golden State Warriors are on a good string. It looks like they're all right to do this thing again. What do you think? I think so, but it might be a very tough one to try to figure it out on the board if we can do things here again in between the two. Who will it be next? Will it be Miami or Golden State again to extend 3-0 or 2-1 in the series? Well, we might have to find out what will happen here, and we'll find out if there's another way to get right back into it. Right now, the starting lineups are our star, Ravis Osler-Kerr, Stephen Curry, Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, PJ Tucker, and Ben Adebayo. Now, let's head you over to FTX Arena of Game 3's presentation of the NBA Finals. Let's get started, team. And as we will be saying things over, I will send you over to bring things on with Test Tube and OJ. Oh wait, not OJ. Light to Light Ball. Maybe we could do that one. Yeah, let's give that one a whirl. Enjoy guys. Let's get started. I will see you everyone out here at a post game show after this game is over. Next, after this. Hey everyone, it's Test 2. Along with Lightbulb, this is the NBA Finals. So far, the teams are in a great setup at this point. And right now on the sideline, we got a lot of great matches. Dick David Aldrich. So far, in between the two, we'll be happy enough to find out who will be the next one to get back into the game. And we'll see David Aldridge on the sideline after the first half is over. It's tough right now to go inbounding up there. I'd love to see that one. A great, tremendous game. And we'll talk about that one here. Steve Kerr and Eric Spolstra got the most career of his average. It's going to be a very tough battle to hit the bound and down. The ball is sick, and we are ready to go in game three. Let's get started. Starting off with current on a, on a starting lineup to this Gatorade, we have is Kyle Lowry in point guard, and it's P.J. Tucker in point forward, Duncan Robinson in small in small four, I'm sorry, shooting guard, and Jimmy Butler in small four, and Bam Adebayo in center. 
it's tough to me right now that Jimmy Butler was definitely a great manning offensive ability. I love seeing this guy playing so hard, but once and for all, it can be a tough one to go for. Stephen Curry makes a drive. That will be a first bucket here in the first period of Game 3. Lowry just off to Robinson. Robinson swings back over to Lowry. Now it's back over to Butler. Butler swings over to Adebayo. Six and a shot clock. Over Wiggins. That shot was ticked off away. Great hustle on the rebound here for Andrew Wiggins. He's definitely a great man of us as a managed skills. Might need to put something out here a little more defensive to go with the aquatic of the moment. And through excellent improvement here of Andrew Wiggins, he's got a great bucket scoring drive out there. Great feed by Jimmy Butler, and it's P.J. Tucker with the first bucket of the night. You're telling that one here, a very tough one to go right in between the zones. Curry against Larry. The Florida goes in for Curry. The early team is lead up by two. Larry swings over to Adebayo. Adebayo swings back to Larry. Robinson outside of three. Marcus good! And Robinson takes his first three bucket in game three. Now they have a lead up by one. Excellent defensive to go for offensive look here. Green missed the drive. Adebayo swings back to Tucker. Tucker goes back to Adebayo. Now it's back to Lowry. Over the bucket. That shot was tipped, and he makes a shot inbound to make the play. Kyle Lowry has his first bucket in game three of the finals. Curry with the spin. Jump shotter goes inside. Now they're on the board. Here's Lowry. He swings over to Robinson. With a dunk. Oh my goodness! How can you feel about Duncan Robinson? He's tough on the drive. You better find him out what you can feel when your jam is up to. Warriors trail by three. Curry looking for another man opp opportunity run. And reaching fouls called on Jimmy Butler, his first team foul, first personal. Now the new changes are coming in as Skibon Looney is checked in for Greek. Kaminga is checked in for Poole. And the other player we call for is the top one to go inbound. That name is Gary Payton the second. Checking in for Andrew Wiggins. And on the other team, we have a Tyler Hero checking in. Payton in the corner. He goes inside. Oh! Oh! oh. We can definitely tell about that one, Gary. It was an amazing dunk in his drive. I was never seeing it before. It does, actually. Here's Hero outside. Big shot. Finds on the bio. What a shot. And if Anabayo gets his first bucket in the game. Excellent uh, ranging in this performance, Ron. You know you can go for that one. Curry almost lost the ball. And it's knocked away by Bill and Abayo. We're lost in the ball movement out there. It's the toughest inbound that I've never seen before. He's tough on that one, Joe. I like that one. It's the toughest gun to keep your eyes on. Hero making a shot. And it's now another bucket score for Miami. Nearing the final minute in the first period. Curry for three. Hitting the deck is in trouble. Butler back the other way. Now he swings over to Adebayo. Backing over is Robinson. Robinson on Clay Thompson. Here's Butler with the screen. Gonna try to take a shot. That's another miss here by Miami. Miami's in trouble on the, on the defensive roll of the picks. You know, it's very tough to try to keep a man advantage out there alive. And not to worry about them, they got a lot of them to go down. Eight in against zero. Screen on Looney. Up on the drive, knocked away. Looney takes it back. Now their team is down by three. 
Taylor's left. Their team leads by three. Larry swings it over to Robinson. Robinson over to Bonavio. Hero back the airway with a one and a shot. It went heavy in traffic and that ends the first quarter. We got a tough battle in between the Pacific Coast and the team and Eastern of the Atlantic Coast. We'll be right back with you after this. So far right now, the Heat has gotten the 15 and 12 for the Warriors. Most players got some great techniques here. Well, one thing we have to go for is the key on switch keys. It's definitely a very tough one to try to fix things on the board. It's very the tough one. When I have to go for another uh, change up here, it may be tough to try to like hit the deck on the run. We got a lot of heavy, heavy, heavy uh, contests here to try to pick things up here like they did. Alicia against Amayo. Over Amayo, a missing mount is picking in for a golden stick. Oladipo back the other way. Now he swings over to Hero. Back to Oladipo. Martin inside over on Kaminga, and a foul has been called on the Golden State. Kaminga with his first personal and their first team foul. Now for Martin, he has never gotten a great uh, tra transition to go right in between the zone. And with the hard heavy hand layup, it's tough when to try to keep things about. I have to tell you that one here. Caleb Martin, he never slows it down and try to like take things on the board. And to tell about that one here, you know, Every time and often, maybe a toughest shot to get things all they have. First free throw for Martin is good. And to talk about that one here, Martin was delivering his successful moment here and he's ever played here for his last time often. It's indeed on his run. I mean, you know, very tough one to try to think of ahead. I love seeing that collab of Martin wants to give that one a good, worthy credit score. Second free throw for Martin is good. Now he has his first bucket. It's 17-12 lead. Curry on Tyler Hero. Double man on him. Holds it back over to, to Peyton the second. Curry for three. A hard transition on a rebound. Picks up a yellow leg. Tyler Hero tries again. Now he finds Oladipo. Oladipo swings to Struis. Now back to Martin. Right to Adebayo. Over again. Makes a shot. What a stoppage for Adebayo. His second bucket of the night. He's really putting up a hard defensive control on his effort. He's putting up a hard defensive work team. Curry right to Valencia. Up with the shot. Makes it in there. Right now, Belizia has his first and second bucket here to pick up the run. And Curry with the assist. No man on him. Hero for three. Got it. That counts it in there with a two pointer score. It was tough right now because if he, he was on a, two, on a line, a three point line, well, that could definitely be a two points with the score. If he's not on a three point line, then he uh, might have a first three-pointer and it gives it off. First foul that's called on Bam Adebayo with 3.18 left to go. It's 21-14. Jonathan Kaminga really hasn't seen his first bucket score and the number one player to be in the three-star players of the game. I have never seen it so quite so often. And I'm telling you why, because it really does stand out. And I meant to say that it can be tough for the trailer Fix it up up. Very tough one to try to hold them up through and get right where the players need it. First bucket sends in for Domingo. New changes are coming in for the Golden State Warriors as Peyton, Valencia, and Porter are checked out. Poole, Kaminga, Wiggins, and the other player, of course, Draymond Green, are checked in. P.J. Tucker checks in for Bam on the aisle. One out of two free throws, only made. Hero going for three. Oh, he made it in! What a three-pointer make! And Hero gets his first 
three-pointer. You talk about that one, Gary. You definitely can't roll him down like you did. Four, all of the depot. Three-pointer up. Three-pointer doesn't go in for Jordan Poole. Martin swings to P.J. Tucker. He swings over to Martin. Three for Struess. That misses the first target here for Struess on the outs off outside of a range. Curry with the drive and makes it inside the paint. Now he picks up their team to get back into work on offense. They try to pick him up. They have. It's tough now because he's already been in great, good in scoring contract. He's really not going to leave his team. Struess with the two. It's missed again, and it's Green with the rebound. Poole on the Ladipo. Only two minutes left to play in the first half. Poole on the Ladipo. His screen comes in for Green. Two pointer releasement. It's rebounded by PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker got a very good one to try to hold things down on floor. Struits back over to Tucker. Tucker over the shot. And Green had a great heavy D. Curry finds Higgins. Makes a shot in contract. Now the timeout has been called by Miami. Heat needs to talk things over a bit. They need someone to try to like keep it up steady. The NBA Finals and 2K22 is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, initial vehicle of the NBA. AT&T 5G, fast, reliable, secure. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Talk to your agent today at 1-800-STATE-FARM to get a free quote. In all the discussion out there, we so many have seen that Steve Kerr was making a great contract out there. And most players got a great inbound to keep in mind the pressure at all and still. Motion is definitely a one of the best, biggest favors here in the game. I'm telling you this one here because most of the players got it all, all over the place here. They're looking for another way to get right into it. Cool, Wiggins, Looney, and Thompson are checked. Now it's Butler back on court. As Hero is checked out, Old Depot, Robinson, Lowry are checked in. Lowry back to Old Depot. Two is up. Makes a shot. And Old Depot with the first bucket score. We're approaching down to a minute to play in the second period of the first half. Cool. Almost had a making made. And he had it in there. He talked about that one here. Jordan Poole was definitely in there. Longest, biggest moment here of this game. I'm telling you this one here. He's tough to make that one a better man in advantage. Miami moving the ball. Fades over to Butler. A terrific D by Kevon Looney. Kevon Looney's not slowing it down. And another layup drive for Andrew Wiggins. They're down by three. 30 seconds to play in the second half. Second period, I should say. The first half. Oladipo rolls over to Tucker. Robinson bounce pass to Butler. Five to shoot. Lance Lowry. Terrific shot. And stay go. And Larry has his fourth second bucket. Pull on Robinson. And it's close for offensive foul on Draymond Green. Can't talk about that one here. A defensive mistake. He really has it out there down. Green is checked out as another player as Porter's checked in. And Larry will close the first half of the game. It's 28-23. We will come back to the third quarter, but right now, it's time for the court side. David? 
Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? What's the difference? I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. Well, it is a unique style. Jimmy, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. Please stand by for the halftime show. See you later. Greetings, folks. And we are here for the halftime show as we are here to take a look at the first half recap. Let's start off with you, Phone. The take of this one was only the tough one to go in bad. Warriors are really picking up pressure. But what do you feel about Miami coming in with a hot start? I have to tell you this one here. This was the toughest one to try to keep their answers in there. And I think they're looking for a lot of shot things and get on the board. How do you think the Golden State Warriors have felt there, son of beast? Really felt really a little bounce. Looks like they were not ready yet. And I need someone else to just find the help. They got a lot of it down. Well, that's all for now. As we're about to set up the fourth, third quarter of the game, it's time to get into the game. We'll see you all for the post-game show and get back into action. Guys, all yours. Welcome back to the FTX Arena. It's about to start the third quarter. It's 28-23. A tremendous game here for Stephen Curry as he's played here most of his careers and get right into two transition. One play to another. He is at the top of a hot start at that point. I have to agree. He's really like a toughest player in bounding. Talk about that one, yo. They're really liking the players much more than do. Off to be like anybody. Curry on Butler. Blocked the pass. And a steal by Butler! What a stop. I love that steal. Butler can't make the three. Curry with the three. Back the other way it goes. It's down by two. Watch out now because Curry has already been like a tough transition. Robinson, an easy drive, and now they're back up by four. Seven points for Duncan Robinson. Now it's four. Larry on cover. Four fifteen left to play in the third period. Corner up out of it. And he made a miss on the layup with this back around the legs. Now here's Larry. He faces over to Butler. And Abayo helps him out. With the shot, makes a contact score, and Butler has four points. Wow, uh, you feel like Butler was already like ready to get things humble. Says, let's go. Here's Poole. Finds over Green to Thompson. Finds Curry. Here's Thompson. Rebounded again. Tough D. A great stop by Duncan Robinson. Robinson tries it again. Now he swings over to Anabaya. Anabaya swings over to Butler. He now finds back to Anabaya. Back over to Robinson. Five to shoot. They have to make some shots here before it's too late. Wow. Lowry got a great try. And he picked it up again. Larry is definitely a toughest player to go right in for, that's for sure. Poole tries the other way, up to Curry with three. Went down hard, He did not make the foul. Well, it's just too much to go from here. It, I mean, this was tough to try to stop one. Wow! Oh, man, oh man. What a stoppage here. <laughs> flying down from the traffic out there. It's true. It is true. <laughs> Andrew Wiggins with the ball on the basket. Just got makes scene two as Curry with the assist. Now here's Butler. Excellent D on Clay Thompson. 2.15 left to play in the third period. Thompson finds Curry. Excellent drive in front. They're down by four. They really got heavy contacts out there. Larry back over to B.J. Tucker. 
Over again to Robinson, back to Lowry. Lowry over to Adebayo. Finds Lowry. Up with the shot. Makes a good drive and a great basket count. Lowry is finishing the fight. He's really going for a heavy hit there that time. Going for it all. Curry outside. Finds no Wiggins. Finds Curry. And take away inside the paint. That's Curry with another bucket. Timeout has been called by Miami. We're under a minute and a half to play here in the third period. 36-32 is where we left off. Right game in between the zones. And to talk about that one, Dara. It really does turn out that tough shot is not really the easy look that you wanted to go for. I'm really seeing things that it could be definitely off target at this point. How does it feel now for Miami to try to keep their runs in back in their other way to get right into this? Well, I may not know for sure because it was very tough to be honest with your opinions. I really have nothing else to go with that. It's very tough to try to hit the deck and it really doesn't stand out to be like they did before. And because of that one, we may not have anybody to try to like hold them off the court. It can be too much for it and may not be ready enough to try to hold them back. They need something else to try to slow things down. And that's what they need to do. They gotta keep an eyes on them. Both new changes here from Miami and Golden State as Caleb Martin is checked in for PJ Tucker. And for Tyler Hero, it's checked in for Duncan Robinson, along with Victor Oladipo for Butler. New groups are also changed here for the Golden State Warriors. This quarter is checked in along with along with Kevon Looney. Oladipo ready for the attack. He made a great problem drive. No problem to make that one shot made drive. Curry on Larry. Three pointer up, and he's open wide enough around Lowry. The team is like fighting for the trouble. He's making a lot of huge major changes out there. A tough one you can go for. Hero outside. Hero swings back over to Oladipo. Finds on a bio with a shot, and the heavy hitter is missed off target. Porter back the other way. Here's Porter. Takes a heavy D here on Tyler Hero and rebounded by Bam on a bio. He's very tough on to try to go right in between the lakes. And I'm just telling you this one here because everybody is trying to keep the keep the flow back from target the target. They really need something else to try to hold them out. Deflected by Clay Thompson. And Thompson, here's Porter, for the buzz beater, Curry, and he didn't make it there in time. That ends the third quarter, the tight game of the Heat and Warriors. 38-35 is where we left off. The fourth quarter is coming up when we come back. Don't go anywhere, we got one more quarter left. And a review now to, to steal with the State Farm assist of the game. All right, I'm gonna have to go back with one another. I'm really seeing things good so far. And uh, for Khalid Martin and around the Bam on a bio, they got a great setup on their screens right from paint to try to avoid the three second violation on the call. They're doing a great job. Awesome run to try to keep their runs in motion to help things out and make the score big and better. The fourth quarter is about to start as we're all filled and ready to go here at the courtesy field of Gatorade. Steph Curry here on point guard. Then it's Gary Payton the second here in a shooting guard. Jonathan Kaminga in point forward. And we have, of course, this Kevon Looney here in the center. Across from there is, is Gary, is Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Porter here in a small four. Curry for three. No problem here to sink a three down. They're closing gaps on him. Hero pass to Lowry. Over to Martin. Finds on a bio. Around green. Looney couldn't try to stop one. And Bam keeps scoring again. That's eight points 
for the game in game three. Curry on Larry. Passes over to Porter. Here's Curry. Take it easy on him. And he's not able to make that shot to go back in the bucket. I'm telling you this one here. Most players are definitely trying to like go right from in between a trick zone ability. He needs some help. Awesome back for Tyler Hero. Nine points and two assists here for Kyle Lowry. Timeout call by Golden State Warriors. It's now 3.33 left to go. 44 to 38. A tough one like you've never seen before. They really got it all down out there. And here's what I have to go for. Because those teams are definitely like a great run run. It looks like that fourth game can be the only one to take it down from here. I don't know what to tell you this one here, but uh, you know, very tough one to try to pick things up here on the board and nobody has ever done here so far. And I really would have seen, like, you know, like, the other players who really wants to like, try to get things up with and try to like hold them up where they wanted to go for. I see that one. The point is just a, is a tough one to try to make them pay for what they need. They really like to make a payback. <laughs> I don't know about the payback, but, uh, you know, someone is like to be out here anywhere. Some changes for the Golden State Warriors and for Miami Heat. Green is already checked in for Kevon Looney. And it's Jordan Poole checking in here on the Euro player. By Bam on a bio. What a stoppage for the defensive player of Mobile One Block. I'm telling you that one here. What a save here. It looks like that Bam on a bio was rejecting the hand of the bag. Bad with the shot. Back out from okay. him. Never mess him up with the tall man defenders. <laughs> right top one you met. Here's P.J. Tucker, back over his Larry. Bam outside. P.J. Tucker outside. P.J. Tucker, Lowry for three. Good! Outside the range. P.J. Tucker with the assist. They are extending their lead. 47 to 38. A tough one in battle. It looks like the Warriors are not ready to get things on shape. Pool outside, coming up by Robinson. And here's Green. Oh! Yeah, pulled up a dunk. Warriors trail by seven. Lowry picks up Tucker. He swings the bounce pass to Alamaya. Over Green. Rebound taken up by Andrew Wiggins. And Andrew Wiggins was definitely like trying to like hold them up together. The pressure on this, and tough one is trying to go right for the big saber in the moment. Wow, that was tough one. But Curry had it in there like he never did before. It looks like that Duncan Robinson was trying to like pull the block off out of him, and he didn't really try to like save that at all that he can do. Now it's tough one to try to hold him back on the gun. Butler with a drive, good shot, and another two pointers in. And under two with two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Timeout has been called by the Warriors. 49 42 is your score. You're keeping a big here in a moment away to get their attention. I tell you that one here. They're really, really oh, they're having a great time. The NBA Finals on 2K22 is brought to you by AT&T Ultimate Secure Fast Secure Reliable YouTube TV and by Adidas and Russell is that one. to release the New Balance
Giants player of the game. For game three, this one goes out to Kyle Lowry. Lowry is definitely a great player of all the time he was doing this moment to get things in the way. With all of his run technique scores, he really likes to keep the players in transition out there. He's got a great technique inside and outside. It is Curry, covered up by Lowry. Curry, switch off the man. Up with the shot, Deadman taking a first rebound. Now swings over to Butler. Here's Deadman outside. After Anabio is checked out, Butler back to Deadman. He swings back to Tucker. Over to Butler. Five to shoot. Larry, over to Butler, on Thompson, what a shot! He has gotten some great scores average here, and Larry with the assist. You call that one, Garrett, a bigger moment to make it square and even. Wiggins, on Tucker. Screen on Green. He wants to get it right around him. Back to Curry. With the shot, Green. Inside the paint, their team is definitely trying to pick up their run. Interesting to me right now, they're definitely doing things on their own. They can definitely try to like keep an eye. Tucker right to Lowry. He swings over back again to Tucker. Back to Lowry. Miami moving the ball. Free to shoot. They gotta get there. Devin wasted time and now turns to be a shot clock violation. Their team is not really like going to succeed here. It all really does stand out because you have time to think about it. But when a clock is almost coming down to zero, you don't have time. You gotta get there. Larry on but on Curry with three. That will be back in the range and a timeout has been called by Miami. 38.9 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. 51-47 is their score. They really got heavy D's on here. They're trying to keep things up here on a run. And if you're tuning in for the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs, this will continue here for the next game as we have the next one in for the matchup. That will be the Rangers and Panthers. And then along with the other hand here, we have is the Colorado Avalanche and Calgary Flames at Scotia Bank Saddle We'll see how well they can do. Try to pick things up here when they haven't before. It's tough now. I ain't seen anybody doing this again. Tough one's only the score, but not to worry about that. They got some great higher average here. Both teams have one timeout left to remain. Team three, Robinson. Oh my goodness! What a stoppage and Robinson! And their team is in the lead. Exception. How you feel about that one? <laughs> the tough one you can go for. Williams on Tucker. Under 30 seconds to play. Wow! Wiggins was slowing it down. Timeout called by Miami with the last timeout left. All teams are like in silent right now. Watch out for danger. We really like to play things for fun out there, don't you think, to be fun? Yeah, they always do. Anyway, if you're sticking with us here for the end of the game, the post game is underway. We'll see what we can do here if we have the better man average to hit the offensive deck on the board. And hopefully you might be here for one of the games to get right into work. We'll see you all here later after the post game show. Not the regulation period. It should be right. Yeah. Totally right. I know what you're thinking about that one here. It's tough now. And I definitely wasn't thinking of this one either. Hopefully you might have that one here, right? Don't worry about that one. It's a bit tough to make a play through in battle. No timeout left for Miami. 
That's Adebayo and her teams are licking their string chops again to go right from the attacking zones. Butler, right back to Lowry. Move the ball around in between his own. And now the foul will be called on Andrew Wiggins, his first first team foul. Hero inside. And now it's a foul called on Stephen Curry with the first personal second team foul. And right now at this one, Hero is at the free throw line, two and one. The first one is in the books. And a second free throw is in. The last timeout is on Golden State. We have one more left to plan things ahead. And that will be the end for game three of the finals. So far, we've never seen anything like this so far. I'm really seeing the best players that can try to hold their thoughts. And I may be thinking, how will they do if they can try to keep them out of here, out of control? It may be very tough one to try to hold things back where they belong. And most of them weren't. Like, I was really thinking about what they were going to do here. They got all in control. It's a tough one to try to keep them right back to where they belong. And I don't know what to tell you. They really, really does stand on the shot. So the last five are the only teams for the last five laps here for Miami and Golden State Warriors. So far, the team of timeouts are gone, and as the last five players come on for Golden State. Valencia for three. That's off the mark, and it takes off on Hero. And Vincent will close this game as Stegman will approach, and that ends the third game. Final score, 56 to 49. The Heat are on the board. What a great comeback here with the score. They love the players. It's uh, exciting matchups in between the two. And the closing's up. We go right to David Eldridge on the sideline. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much, Pam. Your impact is seen all over the stat sheet. So what's the mindset as you approach these games? I'm trying to get a team win, trying to impact winning. You know, that's what it's all about. My teammates got my back like I got there. So we just going out there and trying to do our thing. So it was very visible there, down the stretch. You look like yourselves, we got the win. Back to you guys. Yeah. All right, Davis, thank you so much for your time. Along with me, Mike Bolt, and David Aldridge, this has been a presentation of the NBA Finals on 2K22. And now, it's time for the post-game show. i to send you over to Meatbone and Son of Beast. Have a great night of the Vice Miami team. Test Soup, that is a lot of great audible mention to be here. Thank you very much for your time, and along with Lightbulb, we'll see you all here on the other side of it to finish the game. That's, of course, we have always been seeing things going back along here. I think it's time for free star players of the game. Why don't you start with you here first, Son of Beast? Sure thing. Number three, we've gotten some great other uh, look on the, on the run. We've got some, a lot of heavy hits here in between. First up, Tyler Hero. 11 points, 2 rebounds, I mean 2 assists, and only 15 performance run turned to be an excellent run on the defendant player of this game. Matchups are turning out to be great. Here's the number 2 spot, Meatbone. That will be Kyle Lowry. He is doing a lot of his timing work routine. 11 points, 1 rebound, and 10 assists. Look at that. That is a lot of assists that he has played here before. Most of the time after there, he's playing very hard on the deep end. And 32 performance run is the only score that he has played. Now for number one, let's take it back towards you. And plus, he's a new balance player to game. And number one, I have to go for Stephen Curry for 26 points, two rebounds, five assists, one steal. And only had performed 36 
36 said it has to be called for the, uh, a good magic number call. So with that, thank you for watching. And along with me and me phone and the commentator crews, I'm Son of Beast. Thank you all for watching of the NBA Finals in 2K22. If you missed the last one, go ahead and check it out on the calling card below. That will be the only one that we can try to keep things up here to do it again. Thank you for joining with us. Until next time, peace out everyone for us a while as the NBA Finals on 2K22 dial. I'll see you all again next time in Game 4. See you all again. Until then. Bye.